Star Trek is supposed to be this optimistic view of our future, celebrating what we've achieved and what we may yet achieve. And yet, there's a big problem with Star Trek's so-called optimism, and that's the fact that Star Trek is technically a post-apocalyptic future. Now, some of Star Trek's near-future events, like the eugenics wars, obviously never happened, and that technically puts Star Trek in a completely alternate universe. But that's only because Star Trek's original vision is over 50 years old now. If you think about it, Star Trek's future is at first very pessimistic. From 1992 to 2079, Star Trek promised generations of rampant poverty, catastrophic war, and horrific human rights violations. Star Trek looks at us and promises us the worst possible future, one where you and I will probably be annihilated long before we can ever consider, let alone enjoy, something like Warp Drive or the Holodeck. Maybe optimistic for our great-great-grandchildren, but certainly not for us. And I see that as a pretty big problem with the message of Star Trek. The message that we can do better, that we are capable of great achievements. Star Trek was never ultimately about futuristic people that were somehow better than we were. At least not at first. Star Trek was about us. It was made in a time of rapid social and technological change, and the people who inhabited its world were in most ways a mirror of what was being achieved then, in that time period. But there's this problem, World War III, and it throws everything for a loop, because it turns out that everything is fruitless. We might as well live how we want because it's all going to be destroyed in the next world war. Why try to invent the holodeck or warp drive? It's apparently only possible after we're all vaporized. How can Star Trek truly inspire us to be better when it predicts that we can only get there after we try to destroy ourselves one last time? Now, with our current hyperbolic political climate, it's trendy to imagine those sorts of apocalyptic outcomes. But honestly, in most of the world, nobody wants to go to war. Everybody has way too much to live for. Global poverty is plummeting. Quality of life is rising. What exactly is there to go to war for? Much less a massively destructive global war that will claim hundreds of millions of lives. I don't see it. And so when I hear about it in Star Trek, it doesn't ring true. I don't see a global trial by fire being necessary to achieve Star Trek's vision. I see the current trends getting us there even faster than Star Trek predicted. So honestly, as long as World War III remains a part of Star Trek lore, it's not ultimately a very optimistic future because it has such a dim view of us now and our immediate future. When I look at 2026, I don't see the dawn of nuclear war. But maybe that's just me. What do you think? Do you have a different interpretation of all this? Let me know in the comments. And if you'd like me to explore more aspects of the Star Trek world, I'd love to see what you want to hear, and maybe I'll cover those too. But with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.